Hi, my name is Jim Moyle, and today we're going to have a look at some detailed FS Logix app masking tasks. What we're going to have a look at is masking parts of a suite, and it will be um, the Office Suite and masking uh, Visio and Project. So what I've done to set this up to start with is I've got a um, fairly blank Windows 10 VM. This could be 2016, 2019, it doesn't matter. And I've got three snapshots, one with um, Project installed, one with Visio installed, and one with just Office installed. Um, these images can be your normal base image, but uh, they must not have previously had any of the products installed. So you can't uninstall Office and then, uh, or uninstall Visio and Project and then do this. They have to be the first installs of those original applications on your base image. Okay, so. Uh, let's get started. We're currently in uh, the snapshot where we have just Office installed. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the FS Logic Apps Rule Editor. So we've got the Rule Editor and the Agent installed. Um, for this task, you only need the Rule Editor. We're going to do a new one. Let's call this Office 2016. And let's pick from the Install Programs and we'll pick Office there. Now we'll scan that um, application and it's gonna pick up all of the files and all of uh, the registry settings for that application. And we can see we've got total rules 324, the original Office directory, so it's uh, gonna hide the entire um, file structure underneath that Office directory, picking up a lot of shortcuts and a lot of registry keys. Great stuff. So that will then be put in the FSX rule sets here. What we're also going to do, and this is only a necessary step if you have um, Project and Visio installed to the same directory as you do um, uh, Office. Because if you look at this, uh, the rule at the top, right? It is going to mask everything underneath Microsoft Office. This won't work if you have all three installed to the same directory because just masking that is going to mask everything. So if you have got it installed to the same directory, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to find out what files are in under that directory so I can individually mask the files. So uh, let's open PowerShell. And let's just grab Oops. seems to have some clipboard issues. There we go. So I'll create the file name. And then we're going to do get child item for all the files recursively underneath there and put them in an XML file. Um, this will take a minute or so, so uh, we'll come back after the cut. All right, that's finished. So if we have a look, we'll let's grab these two files and let's put them somewhere safe. And let's also grab that file and put that somewhere safe as well. Perfect. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to go to one of our other snapshots and let's go to project. So now that uh, snapshot is restored and booted, what we'll do is we'll follow exactly the same process for project. I'll select it from the list. We'll scan it and that will appear in the file system and we'll also run the PowerShell commands. Uh, 
and again we'll store those in a safe place. Once we've done that we'll revert to our other snapshot this time with Visio. Create a new file Visio 2016 again choose from install programs scan the application and we'll take a record of the files again as well. So now we have all of the files that we've created from uh, the three VMs in a safe place. And every single app masking rule has two types of file. One is a rule file and one is an assignment file. We'll take a look at assignment files in a bit later, but for this at this point you don't need the assignment file so let's just get rid of those. Now you only need these as I say if you're installed into the same directory or you can just be left with uh, with the uh, three FXR files. Now I'm going to um, run these commands from within VS Code. You can use the IAC, you can use the um, PowerShell command line, all are absolutely fine. So <clears throat> What I'm going to try and do now is identify the shared elements of those three applications. Now, a lot of those shared elements are going to be uh, registry keys and there's going to be some files as well. We're going to be concerned with the registry keys to start with. Now, all of those three rules files have got all of the registry keys that are relevant for each of those applications. And we're going to need to make sure that when we're hiding one application from another, we're not going to contradict with um, registry entries. And we're going to actually create some redirection rules um, to make sure the applications work well. And we'll have a look at those in a second. So I'm just setting the, uh, the path to um, um, where those files are. And let's just get a list of those um, uh, the full path to those files. Let's create a directory so that um, we can uh, have somewhere to put the new files. And that's that done. And now <clears throat> we're going to run a um, command from the FSLogix PowerShell module and how we install that is doing install module fslogics.powershell.rules and that will install the fslogics module from the gallery and if we do the get command, we can see that now we've installed that module, we have these items of uh, these commands available to us. And we can see compare FSL rule file is the one that we're going to use right now. So let's just run that command. Now, depending on your PC, this may take a couple of minutes. So we'll just uh, come back after a cut. All right, perfect. Uh, now we see we've uh, created six new files out of those uh, um, original three files in the output directory. So there are our original files and here are the new ones. And we can see that uh, we've appended hiding and redirect. Now then if we look at the original Office 2016, we can see we've got 324 hiding rules. And then the output, now we've only have 280 hiding rules. So that means that there's 280 unique rules for um, hiding, uh, so unique items, right? These are shared items. These, these are shared registry entries. Now this means that we have the ability with these redirection rules to say when this application 
tries to write to this location, we're actually going to redirect that write to a different location, which is in this case software FS Logics redirect office 2016. Perfect. This means that even though all three applications are trying to write to the same registry location, that we're creating independent locations for these shared locations for each application. And given that one of those independent locations can be the real location, we actually don't need the, uh, the redirect for Office 2016. And given that we don't want to hide Office 2016, in this case, although we could do using these files if we wish to, then we don't need the hiding file for 2016 either. So we just need our project and Visio hiding and redirect files. Great stuff. Okay. Now, these following steps are only needed if uh, the applications are installed to the same directory. So let's open up our uh, project hiding file. Okay. And we can see that we've got this hiding rule, which is the, uh, the root directory for the suite of applications. And if I hide this, then I'm going to hide every single thing underneath our directory. And I don't want to do that because then I'd hide the other applications as well. So I am just going to remove that rule. Okay, and we'll save it as, as well. Perfect. Now I can do exactly the same thing using PowerShell. So we'll just do that. And we'll remove uh, the exact same rule from the uh, Visio hiding rules file. Now then, those XML files that we took earlier, which effectively is the entire file structure for uh, for the applications, let's go and and, uh, and grab the names of those files. Perfect. So if you have a look here, what's in here? N nothing. Uh, that's probably because my path is incorrect and it was so now that's been corrected all right so let's now have a look inside XML files and we have our three file locations all right let me just set my path back to what it should be perfect all right where are we There, okay. Now, we're going to use another compare um, function from the PowerShell FSLogix rules files module. And this time we're going to compare these individual XML files and we're going to find the unique files per application that we have recorded in those XML files. So let's just run that command. And <clears throat> we're going to spit out three more rules files. So that took a couple of minutes um, and we put that behind a cut and we can see that we have now got some unique hiding files. So these are three new unique hiding files. Again, we're not going to hide Office, so we're not going to worry about that one. All right, and let's have a look in those files. All right, so we just open both of those files up, and we can see that for Visio we have got 829 unique files, and we're going to hide all of those using individual file hiding rules. And we've got 26 files for project, including obviously the executable there winproj.exe. Perfect. All right. Now then, let's have a look at moving those rules files from the unique hiding files. Um, and let's do this. So for project, so let's do unique hiding. And let's open the project hiding files. Perfect. 
All right, so let's grab everything from unique heading. Control A, Control C, and then Control V. All right, perfect. So now we've got um, we've stolen all the rules from here and put them in there. All right, perfect. So let's save that and we'll close it. All right, and now because we've copied all the rules out of unique heading, we don't need that one anymore. All right, now we need to do the same for Visio. So let's do the exact same for Visio, but we'll, this time we'll do it in PowerShell. All right, and we're going to grab uh, all the rules we get and then pipe that to add FSL rule. Both of these, obviously, commandlets available in the FSLogix PowerShell module. And now that is done, we can get rid of the uh, Visio unique hiding file as well. All right, so let's copy these uh, project files to our VM. All right, so we've got project hiding, project redirect. And let's grab those and put them in the VM. So for the hiding rules, what we want to do now is we need to set the assignments for those hiding rules. All right. And let's have a look. Everybody applies no. <clears throat> well, this is a this is a hiding rule, and, and we don't want everybody to see project. So we're going to change that to a yes rule set does apply to the group. So everybody has the rule set applied, and that rule set is hiding the application. We also want somebody to have a group that um, is allowed to see. Uh, Visio, so let's call it uh, the well, we've already got the group there, so let's call it project group. Yeah, I mean, well, let's just check the name, right? Let's just do it in here. Yep, now that's a local group, but obviously in production, you'd use a domain group, and we don't want the rule set apply because we don't want to hide it for the people who are in this group. All right, perfect. Good. So now we set the uh, the the, um, the assignments for the hiding, and we can see now we've got an assignment file here. Let's do exactly the same for redirections. Now, when do we want these redirections to apply? Essentially, whenever project is running, right? Because we want it to look at these redirected um, uh, registry keys every single time that project is run. So instead of doing it by group. So everybody will leave that, everybody applies no. But what we'll do is add it by process, because if we want it to run every time project applies, project runs, so let's, let's win project. Perfect. All right. And we also want it to apply to child processes, right? So another project. One in here that we can find. What we want to type is executables. Um, and we can see proj proj. I reckon that's a Windows project file. Yeah, why not? And applies Charles process again. Perfect. So now we've got assignment files for both project hiding and for project redirect. Now, as you can probably guess, what I wanted to do now is I wanted to do the same thing, but let's do exactly the same, but in PowerShell that we just did in the GUI. So here we are, we're going to um, set an assignment saying group name everybody rule set applies so that's going to hide it from everybody and then we're going to add that um, group that the rule set doesn't apply yep for the people in who are in the group visio group okay now so that's for the hiding file what about the redirection files 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to have a look at that um, XML file again. Remember, this has every single um, file that is associated with Visio inside that XML file. And we're going to look for um, objects where the extension is .exe. And we're going to then put that uh, those .exe files into a object with a property name process name. So let's just run that. Uh, so let's uh, reset my path again. Okay, and there we go. And then again, reset it back to what I need it to be. All right, so we've got this object visual files. Let's have a look inside there. All right. So process name and then the name of all the processes. Perfect. All right. So let's just add that gr everyone group in again with the uh, rule set um, doesn't apply. Yep. For this redirection. And then we'll use this visual files object. We'll pipe it into add FSL assignment. And this time the rule set does apply. Perfect. All right. So now let's copy those Visio files up into the VM. All right, now let's have a look at uh, this redirection. Does it work? Uh, yes, it does. And let's have a look at the assignment. So everybody applies no. And look, we have crabbed every single Visio exe and look look at this project import so that's actually a Visio file isn't it so that's why i like doing this this way right because you're certain that you've grabbed all of the um uh, correct files for that individual uh, application so let's make sure that um for the redirection for project all right, we're going to take that out. Perfect. All right. It probably is the AEXEs I've missed in there, but hopefully with the uh, WinProj, you know, we'll get them all. So that's the difference between doing it by the GUI and doing it the other way via, uh, via PowerShell. So now we have all of our um, project and Visio files, rules and assignments. We shall find the FS logics. I saw that, but this time we'll start it as uh, administrator, and it's picked up all of the rules and assignment files here. All right, so the redirection rules. We want those to be populated by project. Now this is the snapshot with just Office installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply those redirections and now we're going to install project and we'll just uh, install it as w with all the default options and we'll come back after it's installed so that's installed now and let's have a look at uh, the registry and see if our redirections have applied. So local machine, software, FS logics, redirect, that's a good sign. Project 2016, also a good sign. And we have all of our registry keys are now redirected into the FS Logics redirect hive. So now let's take that off and we'll go to the Visio redirect. We'll apply those and we'll mount the uh, Visio ISO and we'll do an installation. So we'll come back once. Video has been installed with defaults. 
So Visio has now been installed with all of the defaults. Let's have a look back in uh, RegEdit and excellent. We again have all of the Visio registry entries in this redirect area of the registry. Now we no longer need this activated. So this uh, checkbox activates that rule set for the entire system. And when you repair or you install a uh, application, it enables you to um, have those redirects in in in, uh, in place so that those registry keys get written. So we don't need the rule editor anymore. Okay, so now we're going to grab all of these files and we are going to put them in the correct place, which is program files, FS Logics apps rules. Now then, let's have a check before this. All right. So do file explorer. Let's have a look in program files. Myself Office, Office 16. And let's have a look at type and let's have a look at executables. All right, so we can see here we've got, have we got Visio somewhere? Do -do -do -do. There we go, Visio and Wimproj. Okay, now then. This user I'm logged into isn't a member of either the um, visual groups or the um, project groups. All right, and now we see that those rules have taken effect. And because I can no longer see those applications, they're not in here. All right, great. Now, can I launch or see those applications? I can't see video. Now, or project. Now, you won't always immediately be able to remove stuff from the start menu, mainly due to the fact that the start menu in Windows 10 is constructed at uh, log on. So let's have a quick log off. Um, so let's just show you that. Uh, okay, so that's username Jim. And now we're logged into uh, the same VM, but now it is a Project Visio. So you'll guess from this that uh, we might have uh, entitlement to use Project Visio on this VM. So Project and Visio. All right. And I guess if we have a look at other apps, just check that they're working. Everything seems to be correct. All right. So let's sign out of there. And we've signed back in with another user who's only allowed to have project. So if we look for project, and if we look for a physio, we do not find it. Uh, can we sort other applications? Yes, we can. That's fine, all right. And now we'll log back into the um, original user account. Now we're logged into the original user account. Let's have a quick look in apps and features. So we shouldn't be able to see Visio in here. And we can't, and we shouldn't be able to see Project in here either. And we can't. All right, so that looks perfect. So essentially, we've just shown you how to mask anything from within any application suite by separating them out, grabbing their individual registry and uh, files, and then hiding them. Please hit like on uh, this video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you want to see more of the same. Thank you very much.